Welcome to History San Diego. I'm George Farrar. On March 16th, 2024, I had the opportunity to film and photograph at Old Town San Diego State Historic Park and enjoy some of the festivities at Antonio Gara Day. We'll talk about who Antonio Gara was and about the Gara Uprising later in the series. We now begin a three-show mini-series within History San Diego that's focused on landmarks of interest from the 1840s through the 1850s. We'll start with landmark profile number four about La Casa de Machado y Silva, which shows how a home that came about in the 1840s would be adapted to commercial uses in the 1850s as San Diego Avenue would host a burgeoning demand for food, drink, and lodging, and even more for the increasing numbers of travelers that would come in to San Diego at that time, just as the city was incorporating and forming up as an American city. Let's now walk inside commercial restaurant. It was later known as Antonia's. It would go by different names and certainly things would change over the years. The family held the property for a long time and there were other businesses surrounding it. So uh, as you go in, you can see various postings along the walls and you'll get a chance to see what the restaurant would have possibly typically looked like uh, in that era of the 1850s. For the average traveler arriving in San Diego, whether it was to do business or to visit family uh, or friends. And so you get this chance to walk around inside this uh, adobe structure that uh, was uh, restored in uh, the 1970s. And it gives you a sense of what was going on at that time. Now, uh, we see the kitchen and you get more of a feel for really how intimate travel would have been at that time. Okay, we're not at the Holiday Inn, all right? We're, you know, we're not at the Marriott, okay? Uh, the resources and capabilities and the things that people offer on San Diego Avenue in the 1850s were, of course, going to be somewhat limited because the city was really at the threshold of beginning to grow. And it would, uh, as we'll talk about in the next year or so, we'll talk about those early years of incorporation and of the city really uh, getting to going. Uh, but the first step was to be able to offer food and drink, including liquor, <laughs> to travelers, all right? Uh, the people that were arriving so that they could feel compelled to stay and do business, okay? And for merchants to do business, for visitors to really visit and enjoy the experience. You had to have some place like commercial restaurant. So we have along the walls some information that was provided by the uh, California Park Service, California State Parks, and it gives you an idea of the background of the, uh, of the building. Uh, beginning as the home of the Machado de Silva family in the 1840s has matured to the present, reflecting the changing needs of its occupants. These alterations began in 1854 with such activities as a small saloon and restaurant. And there are some unique stories uh, along the uh, wall uh, talking about uh, an early resident and uh, his name was Alan B. Light, and he was also known as the Black Steward. He arrived in California during the 1830s aboard the sailing ship Pilgrim. That same ship brought Richard Henry Dana Jr., the author of Two Years Before the Mast, to California. So in 1948, they located within the adobe walls some documents. The first document found in the wall was called A Sailor's Protection, and it proclaimed Light's status as a colored man, a free man, and a citizen of the United States of America. The second document was his commission from the Mexican governor of Alta, California, to investigate illegal sea otter hunting along the coast. In 1840, Light came to San Diego and formed a partnership with another freed African-American, Richard Freeman. They opened a grog shop next door to the Machado Silva Adobe, known as the San Diego House. Light moved to the gold fields of California and was never heard of again. 
Here we see another posting on the wall. This relates to travel and it sets the stage for San Diego's early years. Uh, and you get a chance to see some of the details about uh, how travel was back then. It's worthy of note that it says here that no money would be exchanged, only a favor given in return, which I think is somewhat unique. Now, uh, here we have a profile of Matthew Simpson. Uh, he was a traveler who wrote about his experiences. So you'll see accounts from Matthew Simpson here, uh, circa 1854. And here we have a map of the bay and we see how important that trade was and trade is what's really going to boost the uh, early years of San Diego for the people. Now what I'd like to do is take us through some comparison photos from yesterday into today. So we'll be going back and forth from the early years to uh, what we see today. And so uh, we'll go back uh, into the 19th and 20th centuries. And isn't that a unique picture there? You know, back then, totally different than what we would see, of course, today uh, in Old Town. And we see that that's circa 1900. And uh, we see the rear of La Casa. And we see later on in the 1930s what things looked like. Okay, so there was a lot of, there were a lot of changes. Things developed. There was a San Diego Avenue at that time was actually a road going through Old Town, what we now, of course, know as Old Town State Historic Park. So there have been a lot of changes. I want to reference to you this resource, which is an amazing resource, about La Casa Machado de Silva. So I want to thank you for watching this landmark profile today. And I'll be bringing you more landmark profiles ahead. And of course, I want to encourage you to please check out Facebook groups. I have several groups on Facebook groups. I have History San Diego, History California. And I also have a new Facebook group called Cities USA. So if you haven't already done so, please also subscribe to this channel. I will be bringing uh, a lot more to you as we focus on the early years of San Diego, which will center along San Diego Avenue uh, in Old Town, and then eventually we'll begin looking uh, later on uh, at the development of what was then called New Town. So I look forward to bringing all of that to you, and I want to thank you for watching. Take it easy. See you later.